I think I said in a previous video that you can't really um, use the Google map to help you navigate around these mountains because it's so heavily forested nothing shows up except forest. None of these little roads or paths show up at all. Believe me, I have looked. <clears throat> all right, let's just keep walking here and see what we find. Okay, we are back at the mine. In fact, we are. We definitely are. There's the tailing pile. Oh, I was so close to it. Doggone it. Very close to it. You can see what a... <laughs> how difficult it's going to be to access that from, uh, from up here. Very, very steep terrain. So we're at the mine. And hopefully the GoPro can pick up the tailing pile. It goes way down there. And you can see how close I am to the uh, to the the ridge over there. The canyons down there. Uh, there's that. Uh, I can see town. You can see you can see my town I live in way the heck down there. Okay. Well, here's the other road I was seeing. I don't know where that goes. So anyway, doggone it. I'm back here to the mine. I hadn't planned to come all the way up here today. It's been a month since I've been up here. It's a very nice peaceful place. You can see this is all this is all tailings here. The mines over there. We'll go and walk up there and take a look. Take a look at the edge here. Tailing pile. Somebody's already been nosing around here. As I said in the last video, there was actually a shack. Well, what was left of a shack. There's a lot of wood and boards, and here's one here. And uh, There was a part of a wood cook stove here. And I can only assume now that uh, all that's been thrown over the side. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to, I wanted to get down in there and rummage around and see what could have been thrown over. But there's just really, there's really no way to access it safely. It's, it's not real safe. And safety really needs to be the... You, know, you, you can see how big this tailing pile is. It's, it's huge. You can see trees have grown through it. This is a wonderful old mine. I am really getting very long-winded here, talking about this. Here's another board that's got some nails in it. Found a big bolt when I was here last time. I'm assuming these trees were not here at the time this thing was being being worked. So, yeah, I could guess, I could guess this is at least a hundred years old. At least. Because originally this hillside, just this was just one big hillside, and you see how far it's been dug out. A lot of the ore has been taken away. I assume here's another nice piece of board, and there's more wood over here. I can see something down there. Wood or metal. The bottom of that trail, there was quite a bit of metal down there. We saw that. Here's more wood. So yeah, there's a, there's there's probably a lot of stuff down in there. 
it's just really inaccessible. And I'd love to be able to. That's actually a pretty big piece of something there. Love to have seen what they were doing. And originally up here a hundred years ago. That'd be very fascinating. Sorry to be rambling on so much. So I did talk to, I've actually been in contact with some guys around here locally and every one of them want to come up here with metal detectors and all the rest. And most of them want to dig this thing open. I think it's very, very dangerous. I do would like to get up on top and check all that out. Even though that would be pretty dangerous because I don't know, I have no idea what's up there. <clears throat> if, uh, I just don't know. I definitely don't want to get myself into trouble and get hurt or trapped up here. As of right now, this very moment, nobody knows I'm up here. If that mine was opened up, I'd love to go in there again. Um, I know I talked about it before. It went at least 100 feet straight back. I think it kind of angled this way. There was a hand car buried. As you can see, it's caved in, and that's why it's, you know, it looks the same as it did. 30 years ago. Somebody had dug it out and you crawled in it and you were able to stand up because it was tall enough to stand up in. And um, there was a hand car buried, partially buried, a big, huge, heavy hand car. It had to weigh, oh, four or five hundred pounds at least because it was on tracks. And there were the railroad tracks that went back in there. And you walked back about a hundred feet. There was water. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, you walked on the tracks, you know, like that, because there was water in there. And uh, it went back about 100 feet, then it opened up a great big, huge, huge big ceiling. Lots of timbers in there. They had it built like scaffolding, and so they could climb up in there, and there were holes drilled for, you know, dynamite, charges, whatever. Um, it was very, very damp in there, musty. A lot of stalactite stuff growing on the walls, you know, like rock, smooth rock, almost like marble. And, uh, you know, just very interesting. Then it, uh, after you got back to that cavern area, it opened up, or I'm sorry, the tunnel kept going, and then it went back, I don't know, 20, 30 feet, and the railroad tracks continued. And then it curved off, and I believe it went this way. And then it teed at some point. And both sections that went this way, they didn't go very far. They'd both been caved in or just not completed. Uh, there's a big, big metal tank back there. Uh, you know, as big around as the shaft. And, uh, very, very interesting. I, I would give anything to be able to go back in there and in a safe manner, of course, and check it out, but, uh, you know, man, pictures you could get and all the rest would be awesome. I don't see any safe way to do it. The last thing in the world I want to do is be responsible for somebody getting hurt or trapped in there. So, um, we'll take a walk over here in a minute. I think I might have to change a GoPro battery. So where's that big bolt at I found? Picked it up somewhere around here and then I tossed it over. It's a great big, 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 big bolt. Let's see, I want to find that again. It's interesting. Where are you, big bolt? <clears throat> I know it's gotta be right here. There it is. Yeah, I tossed it right here. Ugh. Yeah, big old square head. Look at that. 
big square head bolt. It's actually in pretty good shape. I that could be part of the hand car. Very easily could be part of the hand car. I'm gonna go ahead and just stash it like between the trees here. Not stash it, just set it there. Alright. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm taking a little break. Still up here at the mine. I uh, brought a little bit of food with me, so I've been having some lunch. I'm all kind of re energized. So let's walk over here and have a look at the mine. The entrance to the mine. I don't know why all this wood is here. I don't remember it being here before, but. Well, 30 years ago, I don't. It might have been. Oh, a big chunk of metal. Uh, all right. This is a very dangerous area. There's a camera showing, I hope. We've got a tree right there. This is all caved in, probably repeatedly. And you see this tree here, it's just hanging on. This is very, very dangerous. I'm just gonna quickly go up here and show the entrance. Mind. And then get out of here. Yeah, that's very dangerous. I don't like being under that tree. For this thing to be opened up again, it would have to that would all have to be removed. It would have to be made safe, so. this thing before we crawled in and uh, I can't imagine doing that now I, would, I just wouldn't do it for any amount of money if I can't walk into it I wouldn't go in it I did back then but I was younger and stupid 